the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew glory, glory to you o lord at that time jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people hear another parable there was a master of a house who planted a vineyard and put a fence around it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country when the season for fruit drew near he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit and the tenants took his servants and beat one killed another and stoned another again he sent other servants more than at first and they did the same to them finally he sent his son to them saying they will respect my son but when the tenants saw the son they said to themselves this is hail come let us kill him and have his inheritance and they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him when therefore the owner of the vineyard comes what will he do to those tenants they said to him he will put those wretches to a miserable death and let out the vineyard to another tenants who will give him the fruits in their seasons jesus said to them how we ever read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone this was the lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes therefore i tell you the kingdom of god will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits when the chief priests and the pharisees heard his parables they perceived that he was speaking about them and although they were seeking to arrest him they feared the cowards because they held him to be a prophet the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters vineyard is a favorite theme in the bible in the old testament israel the people of god was considered the vineyard of god the vineyard god planted and cared for and the vineyard that god took special care for and in the gospel today jesus sums up the history of that vineyard of the chosen people of god the infidelity of the religious leadership of the jews even when they took pride in the fact that they were the chosen people of god they lost their connection to god and they were merely concerned about their customs and traditions and rituals they were not in touch with god himself and therefore 
when god sent the prophets one after the other they could not listen to the prophets and they persecuted the prophets and some they even killed and finally god the father sends his own son to claim the vineyard to save the people of god as god had promised in the old testament through the prophets but the religious leadership of the jews they failed to recognize jesus as the son of god sent by the father to save the world though there was enough evidence in the prophecies and the pharisees and the scribes and the chief priests knew this but since their hearts were hardened they did not accept they finally plotted against him and crucified him a historical mistake the jewish nation made to that mistake jesus is pointing out today perhaps a lesson you and i need to learn even when we claim to be religious people practicing our religion we could lose a connectedness with the living god even when we spend our time in prayer even when we engage ourselves in our religious practices even when the customs and traditions are dear to us we could get disconnected from the living god and then the savior will be irrelevant to us and this is a real danger we will be far away from our god and what jesus said of the jews the kingdom of god will be taken away from you am i truly in the kingdom of god or outside the boundaries of the kingdom of god what is the kingdom of god st paul said kingdom of god is the righteousness peace and joy of the holy spirit am i truly in the righteousness am i truly experiencing the peace and joy and love of the holy spirit am i truly connected to god is my prayer a mere custom a mere ritual or am i really connected to god well time of lent is a time of honest soul searching for every one of us so that we will not make that historical mistake the jewish nation made so that we may always remain faithful to the lord amen